that was hot. Okay, so I'm downstairs from putting on all those hats, and my hair is a little worse for the wear. But, uh, oh, can't see. What I thought I'd show you now, oh, sorry. What I thought I'd show you now is some of the jewelry I have. Um, if that sounds interesting, if not, then you probably don't want to watch this video at all. <laughs> now, this is a modern piece I bought at a resale shop, but, uh, but it's perfect for uh, reenactment, especially for Vikings. If I can get the dang hook hooked. There. And let's, there. So I don't know how old this one is, but I found it at a resale shop in Spokane when I was there. And it's copper, it's twisted, twisted copper. That's a nice necklace. I like this necklace. So, that's one piece. And it's got a little darker copper at the end where it hooks. A set, um, it's the oldest known full set of playing cards that anyone's found so far. Um, and it's called the uh, the cloister deck or the uh, hunting deck. If you look it up on the internet, you uh, excuse me, you'll see them. And the backs of them are all hunting themed. I don't think I have the deck in here. No, I don't have uh, the deck in here. But I've recreated that. I bought some heavy card stock and I've recreated each and every card and I hand painted it and they've got gold I laid gold and silver on them anyway so I made a set and I have them up for sale and uh, a gentleman that plays in the SCA on uh, Old Jersey which is off the coast of France bought a, a, a deck from me and um, anyone who lives overseas, I really didn't want to sell to them. I wanted them to trade me something. And what he traded me was prayer beads. He asked me my favorite color. And um, one of the workers that he plays with in the SCA makes these prayer beads. And so that's what I traded the deck of cards for. These are all hand-blown um, glass beads and he sent me a sweet little card that had a seal on it and see he did this and he wrote a nice thank you letter to me on parchment and it's just like you would have received during the medieval and renaissance times how nice is that? Isn't that sweet? Okay, so, and I have um, a rosary. Just a regular rosary. This is an old Avon um, perfume holder that I've put some of my homemade um, solid perfume in. Mmm, pretty. I'll try and stop saying um all the time. I really will. Do you want to see my jewelry box? There it is. There's my jewelry box. <laughs> okay. We've got, um, oh, and there's an um. I've got several strands of pearls because my persona is, is English. And the English wore a lot of pearls. So here is some of the rings I wear. This bottom one here, 
if you will notice, it has a flat side, and if you turn it around, it has a hole. And on the inside, it has numbers. Can you see those? When the sun is shining, you take this ring and you set that flat side down on a flat surface and you aim this hole toward the sun. And when the sun goes through this hole and hits back here, that's approximately what time it is of the day. Of course, it's a ring. <laughs> Isn't that a neat dimension? Okay. Dramel on and on and on. And this is just a cigar tube with uh, various beads and, and hat, hat beads and um, pins, hat pins and regular pins and stuff like that. Um, let's see. I have a variety of uh, just pins. Old pins and things. Are you still awake? <laughs> Let's see. Um, I have my my little circlet that I can wear because I'm a lady. Let's see. This. This was a cool find. Um, I'm not even sure who made this. It's probably another Avon deal. But it's um, this... And you, you unhook it right here, and inside I've put some solid perfume. It did have perfume in it, but mm, I put my own, my own uh, perfume in it. So, and that was probably an old Avon, but isn't that neat? That is just the neatest little thing, and I found this in an antique store. Let's see. And some friend, a friend that Brian used to work with makes chain mail, and he made us these two bracelets as a wedding gift when we got married. Um, of course, he doesn't know that I have extremely small wrists, and so mine is more like an anklet than a bracelet. There, that's a better view of them. Okay. And then, of course, brass and mother of pearl bangles are always two necklaces and a bracelet that is um ruby cross and then just a really pretty gold cross this one is um elizabethan this one here the red one it's got the earrings and the necklace. And then here we have um, a little uh, trinket or perfume necklace pendant there, too. Oh, look at what I've got at the bottom here. Would you like to see a picture of me when I was 18? In fact, I believe I was pregnant with Robbie in this picture. <laughs> Although just barely pregnant with Robbie in this picture. Let's see. Can you see me? Get it where the light's not reflecting. Look at how skinny. That's oh, 102 pounds soaking wet. Gone are the days, gone are the days.